Welcome back to the Edge a Leaders show and on today's very special episode we have a very special guest who's not just an entrepreneur he's an activist he's an advocate against world hunger and malnutrition and the recipient of the Edge leadership award for his outstanding contribution against solving world's biggest challenges his star product the lucky iron fish is devoted to combat iron deficiency across the globe using a reusable cast iron fish that can be boiled with your food and infuse it with iron from climate change to social justice Please welcome the CEO of Lucky Iron Life, Dr. Gavin Armstrong. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming here, sir. And you've mentioned this many a times before, the challenges you faced while growing up that actually had a part to play when you started this. How does it feel after so many years to be actually able to make a difference and being recognized for it? When I was in high school, I had a really negative experience. Uh, like many young people, I, I was bullied for you know, who I was and, and not exactly fitting in. And this made me feel uh, worthless. And so I spent a lot of time trying to build self-worth through selfish means. I thought making money would you know, make me um, a, more, a better person. Mm -hmm. So when I went to university, I, I was driven just to have a job that would uh, generate high income. Um, and I was miserable. Like I was failing out of university. I was uh, just not happy with, with everything I was doing. Uh, but I took a chance and actually uh, did a field course in Botswana in Southern Africa. And it was there where I learned about the issues of hunger and malnutrition and the type of significant need that existed in the world. So I realized I was on such a selfish trajectory to prove a bully wrong I'll probably never see again when this type of need existed. So I shifted my education to issues around hunger, malnutrition, and corporate social responsibility. And now I feel that I, my life has that meaning and I'm adding worth to the world. And so to be able to have that uh, turn of events has been really impactful for me. Of course, and it's so amazing that you actually turned those adversities into doing something better for the world. You once mentioned or you once just described social cost as an investment. So how do you think that businesses and entrepreneurs should include social responsibility and incorporate that in their business plans and strategy? I think when you're an entrepreneur, you have to have a guiding north star. You have to have some principle that keeps you going. Um, and for me, it's social impact. It's that I believe businesses have the resources and the responsibility to make the world a better place and to solve the problems that a lot of businesses have caused in the yeah. past. Um, I think it's really easy to be an entrepreneur when things are going great. It's really challenging when things are not going well. Yeah. But if you have that motivation that you know that impact is, is there and that the, the work that you're doing is going to provide an impact, it can help get you through those difficult times. And so for me, it's knowing that even a bad day in the office is helping improve lives around the world. Absolutely. Um, that's what keeps me going. That's amazing. It can be difficult for businesses to juggle their social goals and financial goals. So do you have any advice or any strategy for entrepreneurs and businesses to just overcome the skepticism from their stakeholders when it comes to just CSR relationships and CSR initiatives for businesses? I think there's a perception that having social impact is expensive mm -hmm. um, when it's not that case anymore. Um, I also think that when you look at more traditional CSR, corporate social responsibility, it used to be seen as like an arm of the business, marketing, philanthropy. Um, I believe that impact should be embedded in everything that you do. Your whole business Absolutely. model should have impact in it, uh, looking at everything from the paper in your printer uh, to the work that you're doing with your staff, your employee engagement. Uh, so Lucky Iron uh, Life, when we started um, out in 2012, we had this principle from the very beginning. And we actually became a registered B Corp, or a benefit corporation. We were the first B Corp in the city of Guelph. And this is an international certification that goes towards businesses that are committed to doing good. And it actually provides a framework for um, what, how you should have that impact and how you can provide that benefit. Um, and so I think we've proven that you can do well and you can do good at the same time. Absolutely. So you think that it is essential for businesses to include and incorporate that CSR initiative in their businesses in today's day and world? I absolutely think it's, it's essential for that, not only for the sake of the planet, yeah. uh, but I also believe that customers want that and consumers yeah. are demanding brands that are responsible. People yeah. don't want to buy a product knowing they're contributing to forests burning down or yeah. people living in enslaved uh, uh, conditions. Um, we've seen that impactful brands are outperforming um, 
brands that are not. And we've now seen major corporations like Danone or BDC become B Corps. Yeah. B Corps used to be small startups. Uh, and now that you have international billion dollar companies becoming them, they're doing that because consumers want to buy responsible products. Yeah, they want relatability in the product and they absolutely agree with you there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you've been asked this question many a times before, but what is one piece of advice you'd give to somebody, an aspiring entrepreneur maybe, who wants to create a business surrounding the idea of making the world a better place? I think that having that impact be your you know, North Star, as I mentioned, is really important. I think the motivation for being an entrepreneur, entrepreneur for me is um, something that is, is really personal for that person. And so if your motivation is wanting to make a difference, I, I believe that you'll get that extra boost mm -hmm. and that you'll have that extra um, reason to keep doing what you're doing. Um, but the advice I give anyone who wants to start a business is you have to surround yourself uh, with an incredible team who are all aligned with what you want to do. I'm really lucky to work with an incredible group of people um, who come into work every day knowing what the mission of the business is and wanting to help contribute to that mission. And I absolutely would not be here today if it weren't for that team. When you love what you do, the work doesn't feel like work mm -hmm. and you're actually trying to help people. So that's amazing. And how do you think businesses should engage with their customers and entrepreneurs should engage with their customers? to understand them better and provide good CSR results at the end. And it's really important to get customer insight. We are, we're living in a constantly evolving world. Um, we want to understand uh, the different demographics of who are, who are buying our product. Um, and just when you look at how marketing has advanced over the yeah. past few years, the shift exactly. from traditional exactly. marketing to social media, mm -hmm. you know, I am not a TikTok user. <laughs> I don't believe I'm of the age that people use TikTok, but TikTok's one of our main uh, channels now. And yeah. so we, the, because customers are saying that, we listened and we bring on those who are a bit more youthful, who understand <laughs> how TikTok works. And yeah. so it's just listening and understanding the adaptive um, customer trends that are out there. So do you think digital marketing and social media marketing is one way to go about it? And if not, then what are the other initiatives and measures that a business should also incorporate? Well, with social media, you have billions of people connected and billions Absolutely. of opinions connected. Yeah. And so it is a useful tool in collecting that information. Um, obviously, you have to try and, and figure out how to decipher what's useful and, and what's not. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of experts and agencies out there who can help you uh, collect that information and, and distill it down. Um, and that is one of the ways we do. But there's also simple uh simple things like when a customer buys our product we ask them why and how did you hear about us the view, yeah. simple things like that can help get really insightful insight i agree so what does the future look like for happy iron life and dr gavin like five years from now so when we started the business it was lucky iron fish because we had the yeah. one product the lucky iron fish yeah. uh, this past year we've actually rebranded to lucky iron life because we're moving uh, away from just the fish and we're looking at multiple innovations that can help uh, solve the problem of iron deficiency and iron deficiency anemia. One of our new products is an iron enriched powder, which okay. is a single use product that you could put into a beverage um, and it would add a significant portion of your iron to that meal, or it could be used for large volume cooking for NGOs. We're also mm -hmm. looking at partnering with a diagnostics company to mm -hmm. provide more awareness around the issues of iron deficiency and uh, giving accessibility to people to understand what their iron levels are. And so Lucky Iron Life wants to be a leader in all things iron deficiency, and I'm really excited to take us on that path. So the aim is to just everything you consume should have something Lucky Iron Life in it. <laughs> well, if you consume our products, we hope, hopefully you'll have a Lucky Iron Life. <laughs> and if our viewers want to know more about this and learn more about this, how can they do it? Please let them know. Well, they can check out our brand new website, which is <laughs> luckyironlife.com, and all of our social media channels at Lucky Iron Life. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today Dr. Gavin and congratulations on this achievement. We hope that you keep doing it and keep making the world a better place. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching the Edge of Leaders show. Stay tuned for more episodes and if you know someone who's a good fit for our show then please feel free to reach out to us.